to talk about coding now and well the environment the best environment that I found most useful for myself is basically to do the code in Visual Studio and to do that well just download Visual Studio 2017 community edition is free so when you open up Visual Studio all right uh, you don't have to create any project or any class or anything like that so all you got to do is actually very simple so if you go to your uh, ninja trader 7 bin custom folder you can actually find a solution folder a solution file inside um, so if i go ahead and click properties right here this is an sln file which is actually a solution file in visual studio so basically if you go ahead in visual studio and uh, well there is an option create new project which will actually create a, a new solution right well um, uh, if you're not familiar with Visual Studio at all um, you probably need to refer to some documentation about Visual Studio but basically in Visual Studio you have solutions and inside solutions you have projects and inside projects you got like classes and uh, other stuff but the thing is that if you go ahead and just open up a project or solution and go ahead into and guide to your to the folder where with Ninja Trader 7 in my documents bin custom and right here you can actually find the solution uh, file. So if you go ahead and open that up, I just have it in my recent. So um, if you go ahead and open that up, it opens up and it will actually open Sorry, let me just okay so it will actually open and uh, with all all you need so it's got your indicator folder your strategy folder your types that's where your bar types are and some market analyzer stuff that uh, that so so you also might need so basically it's all here right your indicators your strategies and that's what you work with and so anytime you create stuff here you just build it build a solution just to check that it works you don't really actually have to even build it and basically after that you just go inside here rebuild it recompile it so ninja compiles it into its own custom dll and then reload ninja script and basically that's all you got to do in order for changes to take place